Hey, you have your tickets, right? <laughs> to what, you ask? Well, the... Oh, the Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship. The 48-hour celebration of ACC football played this year in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. You know, palm trees, sandy beaches, and this year, a lot of ACC football action. So get your tickets now for the December 6th Dr. Pepper ACC Football Championship. Because if you wait too long, it may be too late. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham. Clemson 13, Virginia 3. The final from Scott Stadium, a must-win game for the Cavs as far as their hopes for the ACC Coastal Division title were concerned, dashed in a rash of turnovers and a controversial call that negated an apparent third-quarter game-tying touchdown pass to Kevin Ogletree. Virginia hung in there with the Tigers in spite of four turnovers, including three interceptions thrown by quarterback Mark Verica and just 190 yards of total offense on the day. The D was stellar, limiting Clemson to 192 yards of offense and 13 points, all coming directly from the UVA turnovers. But the bottom line is that it wasn't enough to get the W that would have sent UVA to Blacksburg next weekend with a shot at Tampa. Uh, really, the game, as you all can see, uh, was a pretty even match other than uh, about seven plays. Touchdown that we didn't get. Four or five turnovers and two failed fourth downs, which essentially are the same thing as a turnover. So pretty even match, but in any case, uh, those, those seven plays did separate the two teams, and so we're disappointed. Clemson turned the first of Verica's turnovers into a 15-yard touchdown pass on a halfback option from C.J. Spiller to a wide-open Tyler Grisham for an early 7-0 lead. It was 10-3 at the half and stayed that way through most of the second half, even in spite of the controversy over an apparent 53-yard touchdown pass from Verica to Ogletree that was called back after the line judge flagged Ogletree for a questionable pass interference penalty. Virginia was able to get the ball into Clemson territory two more times, but was stuffed on a pair of fourth and one plays. A late Verica INT preceded a 23-yard Mark Buckholz field goal that sealed it for Clemson, which improves to 6-5 and five on the season with the win. For Verica, the subpar performance, he completed 24 of his 39 passes for 160 yards and the three INTs, which is something that will be hard to shake. Yeah, you got to give uh, Clemson credit. Um, you know, they did a pretty good job defending us, uh, run and pass, so it was difficult to, to get things going. Um, you know, and obviously you uh, can't turn the ball over like that, but uh, you know, this game was really just kind of a continuation of what's been uh, plaguing us these past couple losses, just uh, you know, turning the ball over and, and not capitalizing and, and finishing drives and points and stuff like that. So, um, you know, until we learn to finish drives and, and, and then take, care of, take uh, better care of the ball, then um, you know, we're going to get similar results. It will also be a tough one for senior Cedric Perriman, John Phillips, and Clint sent them to shake. It was the final home game for the class of 2009, which has to win at Virginia Tech next Saturday just to become bowl eligible. Like a loss like this leaves a bitter taste in your mouth, um, especially because it's your, your last one um, for me and said and John and things like that. So um, to go down to Blacksburg and get a win against a quality, a very quality um, team would be extremely, extremely well, uh, good. So we'll see. Once again, the final from Scott Stadium, Clemson 13, Virginia 3. Now go to AugustaFreePress.com for an audio podcast with the the entire Al Grow press conference. You can hear more from, from Coach Grow. You can also check out our photocast, photos by Kent Eiberg, who was on the sidelines today in Scott Stadium. Uh, also go back for our live blog. Uh, get the play-by-play, get analysis and commentary from yours truly uh, as the game was unfolding. You can also check out the game recap to get uh, you know all this, the skinny from, from Scott Stadium today. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham.